Hey everyone, it is Ruthie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another world overview in The Sims 3. And today we are going to be doing the world Addenbrook. So the description says, 150 years ago, a meteor struck Addenbrook, turning a small sleepy town into a bustling city almost overnight. Tradition has been replaced with technology and only a few rocks seem to remain of the sacred place of Addenbrook used to be. So let's go check it out. Alrighty, welcome to Addenbrook. So once again, this is a custom world that you can download and it is huge. There is so much to see. So let's move this area. This is the main downtown area. There's this huge, almost castle-like place and there's some farmland beach area over here more rural area yeah it's a a bigger world so just keep that in mind when you are downloading it so first thing first i'm going to move in or we're going to go check out all of the starting um starter homes so you can see what you would start out with in the world so starting in the main town square let's start over here so it does have apartments and i i have seen parts of this world before and it is it has supernatural in it as well just double check um, on the when you go to download it, which expansion packs it requires. And it's okay if you don't have them all, just some certain things won't appear. Like it, you will need n night light or late night, I mean, um, because it has your apartment buildings and skyscrapers in the. But yeah. So here is the first building you can live in it's in a it's a nice little apartment here in the outskirts of downtown this apartment has a cute little community garden so you can harvest that and this is what your oh here is what your apartment looks like so it's a one bedroom one bathroom cute little area perfect for starting out Here's the next one, the tiny apartment. So here is this. It's so here's your view. Let me see some lighthouses. There's some ponds. There's the country land, and but you're still in the heart of downtown. So you're on the ground level, and it's a cute little starter apartment so you have your living room area your kitchen your bathroom and your bedroom and then i believe so this is just an overgrown lot so there are plenty of empty lots that you could build on i'll check this one out i don't think there's anything on here yeah so You'd have to build your house, but it's just showing you. So just a cute little detail overgrown. Um, it, but yeah, so you could easily build an apartment or you could do a house there. And then there's some empty lots as well. Okay, so moving on over this way, there's another apartment. So here you're more in the heart of downtown. Oh, there we go. There it loads. Yeah. So you're upstairs. And this one, let it load a little bit. But with this one, it looks like there is two bedrooms 
And you could even make this into three right here because of how big it is or put another bathroom in. And I must be missing some, something or this must not be finished. I either don't have... I don't think... I'm not sure if there's custom content in this world. But I either don't have the pack or content in where it's not showing up or it's not finished completely but yeah you have a pretty cute little area you walk in and it's pretty open you have your kitchen your living room a little area for um an office as well as two bedrooms which you could easily make this into an another bedroom and put in another bathroom So the next apartment, so here's what this looks like. So you come in, you have this really pretty um, park right next to it as well as a fountain. If you go upstairs, this was, this is definitely a bigger apartment so you'd probably I don't think that you could get this furnished, so you could furnish it yourself. But you come in, there's a living room, your kitchen over here, one bedroom over here, a tiny bathroom, and another bedroom. But you could easily like build in here and give them another bathroom. And here is a, a house you could live in downtown. So here is your here is your first starter home downtown. It's surrounded by your apartments and there's a couple other houses here. It is so cute. You have all this um, flowers and um, plants. I really like it. So you come in. It's not too fully like there's not too much furniture, but you could like definitely decorate it however you want so you walk in and here's your kitchen dining room as well as your living room and it's a one bedroom one bathroom but you could easily extend this up if you um plan on having like a bigger household and there's plenty of backyard so if you want to add a pool or more activities or have pets it'd be perfect for that yeah super cute so going over here another apartment so here it's right next to some parks and gardens but I seriously love this detail it's on on the hill and you have these staircases leading down and over here I think whoops a little laggy um these are either little townhouses or apartments that you could also live in but yeah so i'll show you the inside so you're on the ground level and this is a a pretty big apartment i would oh, a little laggy sorry about that um this is a pretty big apartment in my opinion like you come in you have this huge open space there's a little platform where they have this um decorated for your living room and this is your kitchen and there's a big bathroom as well as a bedroom and you could easily change up the floor plan with this there's plenty of space you but yeah a cute little area to first move in so here are some apartments, more apartments. It's looking like mostly um, in the downtown area if you, for your starting homes, it's gonna be mostly apartment buildings, so just keep that in mind. There's plenty of empty lots though, so if you wanna build yourself if you're a builder or if you have like a saved um, house that you like to use, you can put that down as well. But this is really cute, these remind me of like townhouses 
So you first come in, walk up the stairs, come up here, and this is your front door. Oops. Come in. There's a little hallway, so it's pretty uh, sectioned off. But here is your kitchen, your living room. You have really cute windows with plants outside. Can't can't go out on this little balcony, which is fine. There's your little bathroom. And over here, you have two bedrooms. And then the one bedroom looks like it comes out of, and you have a little fire escape patio deal. As well as there's um, a backyard for you to come down and grill outside and have your kids play. And your, it looks like it's pet friendly. So the next one, I'm not sure um, if these are the same decorated inside. I think they're like similarly designed, at least on the outside, it lo it's looking that way. Sorry, it's just taking a little bit to load. Okay, no, I was wrong. So it's the same on the outside, like style. So you come in, but it's totally different on the inside. So you come in, and again, it's more of a closed floor, um, floor plan. So you can come in, either go in this door, and here's more of your living room area, and as well as your kitchen. And then this leads out to your fire escape. And once again, there is a, a big yard for you and your neighbors to share. But, you know, in The Sims, you... You don't really see your neighbors in the apartments. You gotta like knock on their door, but that's okay. But two bedrooms, plenty of windows for natural light and a little, little bathroom to share, which you could easily put in another little bathroom in here if you wanted. Okay, so another apartment. Okay, so once again, um, this is actually on the different, uh, the other ones were on, like, more of the, the third floor, I guess, like, the second floor, if you think about it, once you come up, because the first floor is your garage, but, um, this one is on, like, the main level. So you first come in, and it's a big hallway, and... In this first room, it, they're using it as your living room, and you could easily put this as a bedroom if you wanted, because right now it's looking like it's just a uh, one-bedroom place, but you could easily make this into two, decorating it how you want. Bathroom, and then here's your little kitchen, and again, they have another big backyard for you to enjoy. And then here is another set of townhouses so one thing so far that i really like about this town there's so many different options at least just in the downtown area and i like that the the apartments and like the townhouses are very cohesive where they look the same but on the inside it's a different floor plan so depending on what you like you have if you really like the outside of the building but you don't like one floor plan, there's other buildings you can look at. So that's nice. I would just love custom worlds because I say this in every video that I do like a world overview, but I love the attention to detail. It's, it's my favorite part. People are so talented because it takes so long to make worlds and there's so much detail. So you come up and here's your main door and this is more, this is, I think that you have two floors with this one. Let me see, because this is a townhouse, not a, um apartment, they're saying. So you come in, you have a really, you have your living room area, you have a fireplace, that's really nice. This, this you could use as a bedroom. So continuing on, we have the kitchen over here, little bar area, your full bathroom, your formal little dining room area and out here you have a really nice community um or i guess it would be yours uh patio area you have really nice landscaping grilling area places for your kids to play 
little table. And if you go upstairs, the spiral staircase, you have three, well actually four bedrooms down here. So this could be a five bedroom place if you really wanted, or make this in one of these bedrooms into a bathroom. Um, and you also can get in technically through this door, even though with how they have it, they have a little dresser in front of this. But obviously if you're starting off of this with the starter home it's not going to be furnished but yeah i love that super nice perfect for a big family but yeah continuing on let's go to the next townhouse so here is the townhouse right next door to it and you're on the left side this time so you come up the stairs and keep going up so you go in your front door here you have a nice big big uh living room here's your first bedroom as well as a little bathroom and your big kitchen dining room and another bedroom over here and it looks like for this townhouse you only have one one floor unlike the other one you had two and then there's also a common area down here but yeah another cute little thing next to the big park on to the next one so like i said before this i really like this town because they have different floor plans depending on what you're looking for and but they all have like a cohesive look to them but yeah how gorgeous are these custom worlds like so much detail so much hard work i love them here is the next townhouse and this one even looks like it might be three floors so you come in and there's a couple different ways to um, get in. I guess this this would all would be yours. Never mind. You don't really have to worry about someone else coming in this way. So this is all. This hallway would be yours, unlike the other ones. So you have a so it's a closed floor plan. So you have a big um, living room, a big full bathroom, as well as a kitchen there's a bar as well as a big dining room so upstairs <laughs> this is interesting they have a, they have a room full of storage but that would be a good bedroom to have and this could even be a bedroom as well but they're using it as like a a game room like a hangout area and this one is used as office and another full bedroom so this has plenty of space for your sims but on the third floor the final floor they have some laundry as well as three bedrooms so you got your kids room as well as more of a teenager's room and the parents room with the baby okay so the last of these townhouses are here so here is the last of these four townhouses. Okay, so it looks like you're actually in like more, you're on the ground level, which is the first that we've seen. More of like almost basement like, but you're just a little bit below ground. So you go down the stairs and here's your front door and you have one bedroom and you have an open living room here's what the walls look like and then here is a small bathroom well that's actually it's pretty spacious it's just skinny long um and here is your uh kitchen and they have a little workspace and then out, outside is your little patio area so there are options for whatever you like. And of course, there's plenty of 
empty lots but here is another house in the downtown area and this one's the b the b ton house so there's plenty of b boxes so if you want to be a beekeeper this house is for you so you come up the stairs you got this um more of it looks like more of like a victorian style house um if i'm <laughs> thinking right i'm not uh I really like architecture, but I don't, I'm not an expert, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. So up here, you have a little area with the staircase. You come in, it's more of a closed off floor plan, but there's plenty of bedrooms. So over here is more of your living room space. And I really like all the different colors. It's unique. Um, here's your kitchen your living room your dining room you have a little bathroom over here as well as two bedrooms over here another bathroom as well as a couple more be um, bedrooms and a bathroom and then you have a huge backyard and they have a bunch of bee boxes back here so and then you have this huge back deck so you could definitely um, customize this however you like but it's a huge floor plan. You have all this space as well to really design it how you like. So over here, there's a little area over here. This is more of, um, I guess there's like the science area, so more work like community lots, but there are some lots you can, empty lots you can buy and um, live at near the big lake pond. Um, here, over here in this little neighborhood, there is one starter home as well as a couple of empty lots. So let's check this out. So this is the purple starter home. As you can tell, it's super cute. It reminds me, I feel like a little witch would live here. I don't know if you have the supernatural. Well, I think this does require, it does require the supernatural um, pack. I know that, but it's super cute. I love it. It's like a little cottage, a little colorful purple cottage. Oh, this would be perfect for um, just like one sim especially since it's a pretty small bedroom, but you could easily, obviously, customize this however you want. So you come in, you have a living room, your bathroom, bedroom, and your kitchen, dining room area. Super cute. Okay, so that is that area. So you have all this water over here, and that was the downtown over area. Over here is like a big castle. Here is an empty lot over in this little section. Over here is more farmland. So there's another couple more empty lots. There's even an empty lot on the beach. So if you wanna have a little beach house, you can. And over here is more of a, it looks like a trailer park it's looking like. So you could live in a trailer house as well. So let's go check those out. So here's the first one. Really? Just a cute little trailer house. You have your open um, living area space and then you have your bathroom and one bedroom. I really like it. As well as, here's another trailer house. And then it looks like the little junkyard is right in the middle of them. So here is more, This here's like a bigger one. Um, once again, it is still a one bedroom, one bath. And you have a nice um, living, living area, kitchen, dining room area. And then here is the next, the green trailer. So there's, you could, there's plenty of options of like what you, what year you could start off with your Sims. And if you're like really into like storytelling, um, you could definitely come up with a lot of stories. Like this one, 
There's no actual bedroom. It's more of like a studio um, trailer house. But yeah, really nice um, living space, a big bathroom, and then you have your little bed. But it has this huge garden, so if your sims are into gardening, there's already one started for you. And the next one in this area is a tent. So if I'm, if you're really into the the runaway teen challenge, this would honestly like almost be like a perfect um, one for you. I've never done the challenge. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to start off like with nothing, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I can just imagine like this would be a, like a good um, lot to start off with like nothing. Another big house as well over here is another empty lot. So those are all your options for starter. Like again, like I said, with a lot of these like larger worlds, you have a lot more options, which I really appreciate. So I'm just going to plop her down on an empty lot over here. And we'll go check out the rest of the world. Um, here is what the world looks like. And this is where we're starting off at so we're just on the outskirts of the downtown area so right over here starting off i want to like come over here and visit um a temple so if you so it's looking like you'll need world adventures for this lot but yeah you could come here and you could learn your martial arts skill. Yeah, super pretty. And it's right next to this like pond lake. There's a little beach right there. Really nice. Little feature on the outside, outskirts of town. So the most of the world is compact into the downtown area. So I'm gonna do like a little section from each. So I wanna go over here here and check out this dive bar and see what this looks like so this is what it looks like a cute little bar for your sims to come and hang out at and it's a two-story plenty of seating plenty yeah, just a cute little dive bar. Okay. And then there is another little um, lounge area. Here is the, the film studio. And we'll come over here. And there is um, train stations. So let's go check out this consignment shop here right here in the middle of this oh. here we go so here's your little consignment shop that you can come and buy stuff at super cute got plenty of stuff this reminds me of like antique stores and thrift stores. They have a bunch of stuff you can buy. And this is where it's located at. And then over here, you have your film studio. So I'll, so let's go over here. Here's a park. So here's some more rabbit holes. And so you have like a bookstore, the spa, um, your grocery store as well as your science and um, your medical, your hospital, I mean. Um, here's a little park that we have in this area. And then I think over here I do see this. I think this is a house that um, I want to come check out. Yeah, and 
I believe this house is not, or this house, I mean this world is not populated, so you'd rather have to let the game do that, have a mod, or, like, I love doing populating itself. So, here is, come on. Alright, here is your house. So, it's very, like, Victorian style, if I'm cr thinking correctly. But yeah, come into a big foyer. There's a little study area, bathroom, a little sunroom, as well as your kitchen and dining room. And upstairs, there is a plenty of um, seating. I love this detail right here where you have like, you can look down um, stairs. There's a bedroom here and there's a bedroom. Oh, I guess this is more of a workspace, bit full bathroom, um, hangout area. And then there's also a little balcony um, area over here that you can go out. And then upstairs, we have even more bedrooms and another balcony. So one, two, three bedrooms as well as a bathroom. And this is perfect for Supernatural. This has... Um, your alchemy station and then you also have a big backyard and it's super pretty because it's right on the water with you can watch the waterfall super super pretty it's a little laggy I will say um, here's your gallery and there's another bar here is a little community oh, the, I guess that's a pond we did see that earlier but it's labeled as a, a pool. But let's come over here and let's look at... Let's come look at this um, lounge. So it's at the top. So you have like almost the best views of the city from right here. You can... There's windows all around yeah I'm definitely getting like mm, this world is very like inspired by supernatural I'm getting like those vibes but yeah this is I'd say this place has like the best views of the of the city so you have a little karaoke station bar um you can place here you can blow some bubbles over here's more bar you can come go in the hot tub and you can watch bands come dance super fun place for your sims to come and party it up um as well let's see let's go over Ooh, let's go check out the pet store so i know if you you have certain like i think it's the consumer uh mod um like through enros i could be wrong um i know there's a certain mod that you can have where you can actually like set it where you can sell and buy pets but this is supposed to be a little um i'm guessing a little uh coffee house so if you have university you can switch this out and put it as a coffee house and this is supposed to be a little pet store you can buy pet supplies and stuff. I really like that detail. As so, well as, let's look at, this is your festival grounds. So, once again, we have a lot of like overgrown, which is kind of a unique aspect of the the city it looks like the world so you have a little play area your um roller skating rink sorry it's a little laggy uh the soccer fields as well as your pond and here in the the center is your water fountain as well as all your summer activities we have it all Okay, so that's like the main area over there. So over here, we have the science 
station and some more gardens so this is this is definitely like this world is full of gardens and parks i do like that so this is what this all looks like over here so big greenhouses i love it so this is what it looks like And then I do want to check out this. I don't know if it, it, this is a campground. Oh, yep, it is. I love it when um, worlds have campgrounds. It's just like a cute little detail. And over here is like you, a big mm, thing of water and they have these trees. But over here, there's not too much. This is more residential. So I'll open up one of these houses as well. There is a, a cat park. Let's open up this one because you have, it's right on the water. Look at that. Wouldn't you love living there with the, the waterfall right there? But yeah, this is definitely Victorian style. So you come in, you have a little foyer, there's your living space, big porch that wraps all the way around your kitchen, and again, supernatural, you have your alchemy station, as well as you have a garden out here, some bees, yeah. Perfect place for your sims to like grill or practice their skills outside. And then upstairs you have little office area as well as um, some bedrooms and the upstairs you have even more bedrooms and a bathroom so that's what this house looks like so I'm gonna actually go over here because I want to save one place for last so over here is more of your farmland and so let's go check out this so you get the best of both worlds. So if you want like uh, to live out more rural area, you have that option or you have city living as well. And there's a little bit of suburban, um, a little outside, just like on the outskirts of downtown. So here you have places for your um, horses you have a little area to grow your garden. You have a pond, you can fish. Here's, this is more your barn area. You could definitely put more area for like, you could either make this into like another house if you wanted like multiple like families on here, or you could turn that into more of a barn. But this is your main house. So you come in, just a little for you area. And here's your, kitchen dining room as well as uh, laundry and here's your formal dining room full bathroom your living room and upstairs is more bedrooms so yeah one two three four five so five bedrooms just on the second floor as well as a full bathroom and then upstairs it's you could either Put this as more of a hangout space or more bedrooms if you wanted whatever you want but yeah here's and it has such pretty views of the city as well as the lighthouse and the farmlands and then what i want to show you is this festival it's a festival but it's actually, this reminds me of like Coachella, you know, I get those vibes if you go to like a music festival. I thought it was super cute because you have the food trucks as well. If you have all these tents here and then you have the stage for people to come perform. You like your acrobats, your musicians and your singers. Like, yeah, I thought it was such a, that's a, like a cute, um, yeah, detail. Like I've never... I've never really seen that too much. 
And then here is the beach. There's plenty of seating, food truck. And then I'll show you. Um, okay. So they also have a nectary so you can come and get wine here and make wine as well as here's a lookout point so if you have horses you can go on all these trails or go running but this is like the perfect place so if you're a painter you come here take a pic and paint that that'd be such a pretty picture as well as a little area for your horses to stop and get a drink and then over here are a couple more houses and I will show you there's a graveyard as well I'll show you the graveyard and I think two of the houses because there's one over here that I think you want to see So this is what the graveyard looks like. So there's a little big graveyard as well as there's like a church. So I guess if you want, like if you want to come here and have your um your sins get married in the church, you can as well. You could put a little arch there and have or have them have like a private wedding. But one lot I wanted to show you was over here. And this is for your vampires. So you come down and you live underneath the graveyard. And I love this detail. So you come down, you have your little living room area, your bathroom, and uh ooh, ooh, hmm, I wonder who that is. I mean it could just be some someone's grave or it could have been someone's meal. You never know since I'm getting vampire vibes because here's a little area they have their bedroom a kid's bedroom so I don't know is that someone's grave is that some where someone's buried or did someone is that someone that was hostage and they didn't make it out alive see like this is what I this is why I love custom um worlds because there's so so much mystery and so much detail and you're gonna have so much like fun coming up with different um stories if you're into that and then i will show you another these are more family houses like so you do have that option as well so come in big area Living room area, here's your living room, your kitchen, little bar area, full bathroom, nice side yard, patio area, upstairs, it's your bedrooms. So you have one, two, three, four, or yeah, four bedrooms and two bathrooms up here. And this is where you're at. And over there is downtown. And then I have one last place I want to show. It reminds me of this big mansion over here. But I want to show this one because this is, I believe, like the largest house. And this is, this is where, this is a mansion. This is a castle, in my opinion. And it's going to take a little bit to load there's so much on this lot so let's open her up so you have this nice garden over here over here you have some stables as well as your garage so let's let's see so you actually would start up here this is your front doors so a big grand foyer big staircase you come over, you have this little seating area, um, your library, over here is more of your game room, full bathroom. Here they have a sunroom where you can just look out at the water and the mountains. Another bathroom, 
another like library area. This, see, this is why I'm getting castle because like, you know, you're, you're royalty or you're just rich. And you have a huge party. Everyone's gonna have a seat, you know? Huge cap, huge area. So you come up stairs and this is where all your bedrooms are at. So you have one, two, three, four, four, bed four bedrooms in this area, as well as like one big bedroom over here and a bathroom for your kids. And here's another bedroom and a bathroom. But this house, you have servants because look at this detail. So down, if you come downstairs, you have you have your gym down here, some bathrooms, communal bathroom bathrooms, and you look at all these bedrooms, and then here's your kitchen. So this is obviously like your royalty. In my mind, this is what I this is the vibes I'm getting, um, and this is where all your workers live in the kitchen. I just thought it's so neat. So much detail. I love it. But I hope, I'm sorry if this was long. There's just so much to see. There are so many starter homes. But I hope you all really enjoyed the overview of Addenbrook. If you're into more of Victorian style houses, um, supernatural, um, I think you'll really enjoy this this world. Um, and even if you're not, go check it out, download it, and see if you really like it. It is a bigger world, so just keep that in mind. But I hope you really enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye!